Welcome to Gate City Chronicles. I'm Kevin Avard, your host, and I'm very proud to introduce the new owner of Bikram Yoga here in Nashua, uh, Lori Richardson. Welcome to the show, Lori. Thank you. All right. So you are the new owner, and, and, and uh, you've been doing Bikram Yoga for a long time. I have, yeah. All right. So Norman O'Neill was the past owner. Yes. And uh, I, I just discovered that you were his instructor. Yes, yes. Norman's a good friend of mine, and um, we uh, met each other in Portsmouth, New Hampshire in 2003 when I first started teaching. And um, Norman went to teacher training uh, in 2007, and we both taught together in Portsmouth. And then he started running uh, Bikram Yoga Nashua not too long after that. Right, and he also is one of the owners in the Chelmsford. Yes, okay. yeah, Bikram Yoga Chelmsford. So it's growing, it's not just it's a It's growing, fad. yeah, it's right. definitely growing. There's, um, in New Hampshire, there's Bikram Yoga Manchester, Bikram Yoga Concord, Bikram Yoga Portsmouth, and of course here in Nashua, Bikram Yoga Nashua. Now, what is the difference? I, I know I asked Norman, he was actually my first guest here on Gate City Chronicles. And uh, obviously things are growing, and that, yes. that's wonderful. Uh, just re refresh our mem memory. What, what are the benefits of Bikram yoga versus all the other types? I, I guess there's a, a number of types of yoga out there. Right. Well, there's a lot of yoga out there, and all yoga is great. Um, it's kind of like pizza. All pizza is good, but you've got to find the one that's right for you. Right. And so Bikram yoga is done in a room that's heated. Um, anywhere from about 102 to 105 uh, intentionally, and that's to warm up the muscles and really get you sweating. Uh, it's very good for cleansing. Um, it's an intense series. It's 26 postures done twice with two breathing exercises. And um, it's really great for strengthening, toning, flexibility. You get your cardiovascular workout and the other thing that's great about our series is it's a beginner series, so everybody's welcome. You don't need to have any yoga experience to come take our class. That's a beginner series? It's a beginner series. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so oh. all the postures are beginner's postures. However, you can take those postures as far as you can. So in the same class, there might be one person you know, working the setup, you know, just the beginning stages of the posture, mm -hmm. and then another student that's able to get the full expression of the posture. Now, I, I've done different types of yoga, and I know that with one of them, there was the upward dog, the downward dog, and, and, and I believe those were for getting the body warmed up and getting, getting the, uh, uh, your, your heart rate up so that you can get into other moves. With Bikram, you don't do that. Uh, no, we don't do up dog. We don't do down dog. Um, our beginning warm-up really is pranayama breathing. It's a deep breathing exercise, and it's designed to warm you and energize you. Mm -hmm. And then we begin class with a half moon series that really stretches you, and then we do um, the awkward series that's really strengthening we do ego pose, and then you have a little break, and then we continue with the standing series. Now, the, when you say it's for beginners, people can walk in there and they can just sit there and sweat for an hour and a half. They could, yes. Uh, they, they I've could. actually watched that, <laughs> where you know, they've done a, a few moves, and uh, you know, Norman would say something to the effect, well, listen, if you can't do the moves, just sit here in the warm room. Right, right. Now, why is that? Well, I mean, some people come in and you know, they can do all the postures. Other people, it takes their body a little bit longer to get acclimated to the, to the heat. Mm -hmm. um, and so it takes them a little bit longer to start sweating. So they might, at the beginning of their practice, do a couple postures, sit down, you know, join us when they can. Um, but, you know, there's, there's no pressure. Right. You know, the first time students, we always say, if you need to take a knee and sit down, sit down and, you know, join us when you can. Right. And I know I drank a lot of water while we were doing well, that. Well, that's With good. lots of ice cubes. By the time we were done, the ice cubes were completely melted. <laughs> and uh, it was a very good workout. But yeah. You knew you had a workout, whether you tried to put a little into it, depending upon the instructor, 
or you put a little bit out of it, or you just kind of were coasting. Right. I know there's a couple of instructors that uh, don't let you coast. No, well, I mean, you know, we've got some that are going to crack the whip on you. <laughs> um, but, you know, everybody is able to, you know, we want people to work as hard as they can. Right. Because the more you put into it, the more you're going to get out of it. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you give it 120, you're going to get 120. If you give it 20%, you're going to get 20%. Right. But on some days, you know, I know yesterday I practiced and I was feeling a little tired, and I had to just back off a little bit and listen to my body. And um, But that doesn't mean tomorrow that I'm going to do that. Right. Now, do you teach every day? Um, I don't teach every day. I've been teaching quite a bit, um, you know, since I took over the studio at the beginning of November. Um, but typically, I give myself two days off a week. Right. Yeah. Uh, I know we were doing it quite a bit uh, a week, and uh, actually we, we backed off a little bit, and then I got busy, and every excuse under the sun, obviously. Right. Uh, but when, you, when we were on our way there, we knew that we were going to get a workout, and we uh, did enjoy it. Right. Uh, what are some of the, the real benefits, though? I, you, you know, I, I saw ages from... 18, 19, 20 to 90 in there. It's true. You know, the, the other day I was teaching, I had two young girls. One was 12, one was 13. That young? Yes. Oh, wow. Um, I mean, most of the time it, we usually have students that are 18 and above, but there were two younger girls. And then there was actually um, like three quite a bit older, um, like my grandparents' age in class, and they just do as much as they can. Right. Um, so there's no age requirement. The great thing about this yoga practice, um, I know for myself, I used to go to the gym a lot, and, and the gym is great. Um, but one of the great benefits about Bikram yoga is internally we're doing compression, release, compression, release, and we're targeting all the different parts of the body, whether it be, you know, the kidneys, the adrenal glands, you know, the liver, the mm. gallbladder, the spleen, the colon. And Norman would say the synovial fluids in the joints. Yes, the, that I the synovial right? fluids, right. which is kind of like the mineral oil to your joints. Mm. Um, so it keeps you nice and lubricated. Um, so all the postures are targeting a different area, and they're good for different things. Let's say someone has diabetes or arthritis. Um, I know my mom has arthritic thumbs and all our different grips are really great right. for preventative medicine against arthritis or um, you know back pain. We do a lot of backward bending and when you backward bend you release the pressure off of the intervertebral discs in between your vertebrae. So it's so great for your spine. And everything we do, you know, we're almost always in a forward bend. You and I sitting here, right. driving the car, eating dinner, you know, sitting at the computer. It's a forward bend. So all the backward bending is really good for releasing the pressure off of the intervertebral discs so that you don't experience that back pain. Um, I know myself, I, I do... Um, have low back issues, and I can feel, if I haven't been in the hot room practicing for a few days, I right. start to feel it in my low back, and I know I've got to get in there and do my Cobra series. One of the questions I asked Norman, and I'll ask you, and for our viewers, you know, a lot of times yoga has the stereotype with the incense and the religion or a religious affiliate to it. And some people might uh, be turned off by that, or there might be a, pati a particular uh, ideology with that. Right. And Bikram's not like that. Well, no. I mean, you know, we have people of all different religions right. in there. We don't practice any religion. Right. Um, we do our yoga practice, but we're, we don't uh, chant um, or have anything to do with any particular religion. It's, it's really about the actual physical art of it. Yes. Period. It's, it's, um, it's strictly that. That's what I discovered. Exactly. Uh, Bikram yoga is a combination of hatha yoga, so working your body, working um, the postures, 
doing your posture, stillness in the pose, stillness out of the pose, and Raja Yoga, Yoga the Mind, so that when you leave, um, you feel better. You mm. feel ready to take on the day, more patient with the people in your lives. Um, I know sometimes I'll go in there and my morning hasn't been going well. Maybe something's bothering me. I'm a little anxious. I practice and then I feel better. I just feel recalibrated. Right. Um, so a lot of people uh, do the practice not only for the physical workout, what they're doing internally and externally to their body, but also what they're doing for their mind, how they feel. Right. And even that, some people might be, oh my God, what do you mean for my mind? And my personal experience, if you've gone to any of the other clubs, you either see people with their headphones, they're tuning you out, or they're watching the television. Right. They're, they're either watching their news, and you know, this is their enjoyment, that's, that's fine. But uh, if, you, if you take on this type of uh, a discipline, if you will, you really are just sitting there looking at the mirror, holding on for dear life. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's, that, I am very, very much kidding. But you're, you're really focusing only on your postures, right. trying to do better each time. And you're not really looking at you know, Fox News or CNN or this award, or you're looking at the stock market. You're really just kind of tuning out, Yes. period. And there's no room for headphones. No, there's no headphones. There's no, no television. It's just a 90-minute eye-open active med meditation. Um, That's right. You had to keep your eyes open yep. at all times. Eyes open. Right. And um, it's yourself, the other students, the teacher that leads the class. The teacher doesn't actually do the postures with you. Right. They watch you and, you know, help you with your postures. Right. Um, and then the mirror, of course, which we use as a tool to the body's your alignment. Right. Right. Uh, that's, that's another thing is you're, you are looking at yourself at some point at, in, in the room. Right. And you're, you're looking at how you're doing. There's no room to be looking at anybody else. No, there's not. Right. And I know when I first started practicing, I thought, these people are looking at me. I'm not <laughs> doing this very good, and they're watching me. But as I've started to do it longer, I realize nobody's looking at me. They're thinking the same thing about themselves. Right. Um, so that, that for me was a little bit of, I had to get over that at the beginning. Right. But now it's something I, I don't even think about. It truly is a judgment-free zone. Oh, completely judgment-free. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, you don't have to come in and be some professional yogi. I mean, right. anybody's welcome. It really is a beginner series. The teacher will walk you through it word for word. So I think sometimes people feel intimidated by um, Bikram yoga. Um, oh, it's going to be hot. Everybody's going to know what they're doing. But, you know, well, yes, it will be hot. Mm -hmm. But... Not everybody is experienced. As you keep coming and keep practicing, then you become experienced. But you've got to remember when you see that person in the room that looks like the expert, they were the beginner too. At one time. Right. Correct, yeah. And uh, uh, that, that's one of the things that I think is really important is that you just go in there, you sit there, and you just listen right. to the instructor, and you focus, and period. And right. you walk out of there, and you know you worked out, even oh, if you for tried sure. a little bit. Um, now, one of the things that people, when, when they, they come there, they don't know what to, you know, do they get in their, their Nike sweatsuits, or what, what, what type of... Uh, well, no, the Nike sweatsuit would definitely be a little too warm. Typically, men um, wear shorts, and they'll either wear a tank top, or they'll wear no top. Uh, the women typically wear shorts, and either a tank top or a sports bra, whatever they're most comfortable in. Um, because the less clothing, you know, the better, because one, it's warm, but two, then you can see your alignment more. You don't want to use a cotton t-shirt of any sort? No, right. no. Um, Isn't there a line of uh, products that... Uh... Well, actually, we carry uh, Everywhere Active Wear, which is a company uh, local, started by Norman O'Neill and Louise, Louise yeah. and uh, it's got a lot of great prints and 
uh, all individual hand done tie dyes that are beautiful. So we carry that at the studio. I wear it myself. Um, so and it makes it the, the workout a little bit easier. You're a little more comfortable in that type of yes, work. Yes, and yeah. it's not like cotton. It's a nice uh, sweat wicking material. Right. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend it. Yeah. Well, I've I've actually gone in with a t-shirt and I've actually had to wring it out. Oh, I'm sure. Thought, I'm sure. This wasn't a good idea. Right. Uh, and then we had a towel. Now you get yoga mats. We have yoga mats to rent at the studio for a dollar. Um, or you can bring your own yoga mat uh, and a bath size towel. We also rent towels or we sell the yogi toes towels or the breathe mats, which is the mat and the towel combined. Mm -hmm. um, because you are going to sweat a lot. Um, typically, you know, the average woman is sweating about five pounds, you know, water weight. And the average male, more like six to eight pounds. In one? Uh, in one session. So... Um, so it is important to have a towel, and it's very important oh. to hydrate. Really Do you get the lose that much weight in one? You lose that weight, yes. Wow. Yes. But, it, but it's all water. It's water weight. Right. You'll burn a lot of calories. I mean, the average man probably around 1,200, and woman more like 700, 800. Um, but that's water weight that I'm, that I'm talking about. Now, some of these moves, some of these postures, they're, they're, they're really not for wimps. I mean, if you really wanted to have a good workout, I know that one where you're, you're kind of almost sitting and your hands are straight out and you're looking at the mirror. Yes. Uh, you know, awkward pose. Very awkward. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not easy. Uh, no, it's not. It's, it is um, really good for strengthening your legs, your arms, your abdomen, your back, your, really your whole body, that it's one. It's like getting in a squat and just holding it without the weights, right? but holding your arms out as well. Yeah, the, the great thing about this series is you don't need any ropes, pulleys, equipment. It's just you working against your own body weight. Hmm. So um, you don't need to bring anything with you, and we don't have a lot of uh, you know, stuff that you're going to use in class. It's just your body. Right. I, I know... Uh, and this is on a daily basis, and, and it's, it's funny how I, I do practice this, but when I put on my socks, it's kind of weird, hello. <laughs> uh, but I stand up on one leg, and I put my sock on, because I learned to pose Good. in Bikram Yoga. You know how you hold your feet right. out like standing that? Right, standing hand to knee. I could put my sock up with standing on one foot. Very good. Instead of good. sitting down. And, yes. and I do that as a, as a normal practice, just for my stabilizing muscles. Right, um, right. I do practice lifting weights yeah. and uh, for other reasons, but uh, uh, basically for the hips, and I do squats with, with that, but I know that also helped out right. as well. Well, I know one of my good friends, uh, Sarah Curry, who owns Bikram Yoga Portsmouth, um, she had injured her back, and she couldn't even put on her own socks. Mm. And she found this series, and when she first found this Bikram series, she couldn't tie her own shoes. Mm. But all the backward bending, like right. I was talking about earlier, the Cobra series, really saved, you know, her back. And now what you should see her, she can grab the feet no problem. Um, but it was due to the backward bending. Um, and one of the other great things about backward bending is it um, compresses your adrenal glands. And when you compress your adrenal glands, you release serotonin into the body. And so when you leave class, you feel happier <laughs> than when you showed up to class. It's, it, it's over. I'm well, kidding. no, I'm not kidding. just that. I'm teasing you. Yeah. I know. I've, I've worked out some times where I've thought, my God, I really pushed myself. And other times I felt really, really good leaving that place. Right. Uh, but always knew that I had a good workout. Yeah. Wow. So how do people get in touch with you? How, do you have a website? Oh, yeah, we do. They can go to the website. It's BikramYogaNashua.com. Mm -hmm. um, and they can check out the times, you know, the rates, all of that. We have an intro special, and it's $10 for 10 days. That's that introduction type of thing, right? Right. Yeah. Well, um, one other thing, you, it's seven days a week? You're, you're yes, open. we're open seven days a week. Uh, we have a 9.30 seven days a week. We have a 4.30 seven days a week. We have a 6.30 a.m. 
Monday through Friday cool. for the early birds. Right. And we have a 6.30 p.m., you know, for people who want to come after work or school. Um, and on the weekends, we have three classes every day, so. Three classes. Yeah. Now, you don't do three classes every day, do you? No, no. Um, you must have a number of instructors. I do. There's, uh, including myself, there's eight different teachers at Bikram Yoga Nashua. And each one brings a little something different to the class. All the teachers are wonderful. Uh, but it'll be a little bit different depending on the person that you have. Right. You know, some, some are a little more intense, some are a little bit more mellow. Uh, but everyone is Bikram certified and a wonderful quality teacher. Tell us a little bit about the certification. Now, I, I, you have to do a thousand hours, or yes, some ungodly it's a, number it, of it's hours. Yes, it's a very intense teacher training. Um, it's nine weeks and two classes a day for nine weeks. Uh, you also have to take anatomy class and pass that successfully. Um, you have posture clinic, you have dialogue. At night, you have le lectures with Bikram, and he likes to talk. Okay. So, you know, sometimes the lectures go a little bit late. Um, so it was a very intense teacher training, um, and all of us are, are Bikram certified. That's, not that it's a boot camp, but it's, it's, that's tough. Oh, it's tough. It's, yeah. it's definitely tough. I remember when I went to teacher training, um, one of the one of the men that I trained with was an ex marine, and he said, "Laura, this is harder than boot camp." Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, the teacher training was very intense. Right. Um, the classes we won't start you off <laughs> like that. Right. But as as a, as an instructor, you've gone through advanced training. Correct. So what are what are the different levels after you really enjoy this? I mean, how do you how do you turn up the heat, if you will? Um, well, you know, what you basically do is you take the posture to the, to the next place for you. You know, when I first started practicing, um, I started practicing when I was going to college in Burlington, Vermont, and I could barely touch my feet, you know, and my spine Grabbing was... Grabbing toes. Right, right, and my spine was more rounded, and it was hard to balance on the one leg, and so... As I've been practicing over the years, I've seen the postures change. And so you take them to the next place. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, everybody's going to look different in their postures. But it's just yoga practice. It's not yoga perfect. Right. So the beginner will be in there with, you know, someone that's been practicing, let's say, like myself, over 10 years. You're going to be doing a lot better than the people who just went. Oh well, no, I mean not necessarily, um, yeah. you know. But when I'm doing it, I remember I came out the other day, and one of the students said, "Oh, did you see me do this?" And I said, "Well, I was practicing. I wasn't teaching, so I was focused on me." Now, had I been teaching, then of course I would have right. seen. But when you're practicing, you're not worrying about anybody but yourself. As a new person, you can watch the people in the front and say, oh, okay, that's how they're doing it. Um, and yet you'll also get instruction from the... the from the, the teacher, the, yeah. right, right. And uh, so, anyway, well, I want to welcome you again to, to the show. And, Thank uh, you, Kevin. Uh, because we did have Norman on the first time, and yeah. uh, congratulations on your new venture. Thank you. And we hope that uh, you have great success. I hope so, too. Yeah. Come take a class at Bikram Yoga Nashua. Absolutely. Yeah. So until next week, thank you very much for watching uh, Gate City Chronicles. We hope this has been helpful. If you want to get in touch with her, please call and uh, try it. You'll uh, like it, and I know you won't forget it. <laughs> right? You're right. All right. So until next week, thank you very much for watching Gate City Chronicles.